Hello, my friends. Well, you are on the home stretch now. It's week four of the 30 day giving challenge. I hope and pray that you are starting to see some of the fruit of a generous life. If you are witnessing God at work, we would love to hear from you. Um, please let us know. You can submit your story of God working in your life to testimonies at thebridgebiblechurch.com. Well, this week's encouragement is a reminder that money is tied to our discipleship. Jesus taught on money so often because he knew how easily our hearts could be led astray by it. Ultimately, he knew that our finances might be the one thing that stops us from going all in to follow him. He couldn't have made it more clear than in Matthew chapter 6, verse 24. He says, No one can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one and love the other, or he will be devoted to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and money. So Jesus says here, there is no middle ground. He doesn't allow us the comfort of saying, your pursuit of me and your pursuit of money can coexist. Because Jesus knows that money will vie for the attention of our heart. He knows that all too often, our hearts will seek the wrong kinds of treasure, the earthly kind, instead of the heavenly ones. As humans, we are prone to believe that money can bring us happiness and contentment and security. And yet most of us don't realize that by relying on money for those things, we end up making money our master. And as Paul later reminds us in 1 Timothy, our love of money will be the root of all kinds of evil, leading us away from the goodness of God. Well, throughout this giving challenge, I am praying you have seen your heart choose God over money as your master. As you use your treasure to invest in kingdom things this month, you are showing that Jesus is the true Lord and master of your life. And when we invest our treasure in his kingdom, the award that awaits us is priceless. In fact, right before Jesus' comment on the two masters, he said this in Matthew 6, verses 19 through 20. Do not lay up for yourselves treasures on earth, where moth and rust destroy, and where thieves break in and steal. But lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor rust destroys, and where thieves do not break in and steal. Treasures on earth, the things that money promises us here, they are fleeting, and they are things that just won't last. A story is told uh, that at the funeral of John D. Rockefeller, two guys were talking, and one guy asked the other, Hey, I wonder how much Rockefeller left behind? And the other one answered, Everything. <laughs> right? Everything. All our earthly treasure will be left behind. But investment made in God kingdom things are eternal. Heavenly treasures will never fade away. Finally, I want to remind you of something Jesus said as it relates to the connection between our money and our hearts. He said, where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. Discipleship is about determining where your heart is going. Who or what will my heart follow after? And Jesus reveals a secret here. It's your treasure that will determine that. Your treasure. My heart, and therefore my walk of discipleship, will follow the trajectory of my money. When I offer my money to Jesus, my heart joyfully follows after him. That's the secret of Jesus. And what a powerful truth it is. And so I pray that as you have given back to Jesus this month, that you have felt a redirecting of your heart towards him. And that is what this challenge 
is all about. Well, you have one more week, so let's lean into this and follow the path that Jesus has laid out for us. I'll be back with one last video next week to conclude this 30-day giving challenge. I can't wait to see you then. God bless.